actor Johnny Depp, who was hoping a British court would help restore his image and kickstart his career, instead was dealt a major blow by a judge, dismissing his claims against a British tabloid. Depp sued The Sun for libel after a 2018 article called him a wife beater, but Justice Andrew Nichol of the High Court of England sided with the newspaper, saying what they published was, quote, substantially true. The ruling comes after weeks of salacious testimony and video and audio evidence presented to the court during a trial over the summer in London. Oh, you're crazy. You're crazy. Have you drunk this whole thing this morning? Oh, you got this Front and center at trial was Depp's ex-wife, Amber Heard, called as a witness by The Sun. She testified about 14 separate incidents of physical and emotional abuse beginning in early 2013 and ending in May of 2016, just before the couple agreed to separate. She secretly recorded Depp during what she characterized as drunken, drug-induced rages. No, f it. no, I didn't. What the f are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie, you. and then I. I didn't I punch you. And by the I way, you. I'm sorry that I didn't. Uh, you uh, uh, punch you. It has been incredibly painful to relive the breakup of my relationship, to have my motives, my truth questioned, and the most traumatic and intimate details of my life with Johnny shared in court and broadcast to the entire world. Not sure I deserve that. Depp claims his career has been damaged by allegations of abuse, citing his removal from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise in 2018. Around the same time, Amber Heard wrote about being the victim of abuse in an op-ed published in the Washington Post. The article didn't actually name Depp, but that isn't stopping him from suing her for $50 million in the state of Virginia. Yeah, this trial was a huge deal overseas. Could you imagine what it would be like here in the United States? Let's bring in uh, Ashley Banfield and Court TV anchor Julie Grant joins us as well. Um, Ashley, unsuccessful in the UK, but that was in front of a judge. What do you think about an American jury? Does he get a better, better shot at, at convincing them that he's been defamed? Well, you know, it's funny. I'm not so sure that that's finalized yet, that uh, Amber Heard hasn't chosen maybe a, a bench in the, in this case. It's possible that there, there might be a bench trial. If, correct me if I'm wrong, Vinny. I, I'm not sure about that. But here's what I do know. Uh, England might not be over. He said on Instagram just a little over a month ago, I intend to appeal this in England. He called it a surreal judgment of the court in the UK will not change my fight to tell the truth and confirm that I plan to appeal. And what's so interesting is that since that happened, there's been another massive development in his professional career. And that is, is that he got dumped from Fantastic Beasts, the third uh, you know, iteration of it. And, and the way he um, wrote about it on Insta was that he was asked to resign. And there was a big merger, AT&T, Warner Brothers, and ultimately many say that the, the business of the movies started to move towards saying he's not worth it, and maybe she is. So I'm so interested in not only the way fans are gonna look at what happens in the US if when it eventually you know, goes, goes to trial, but I'm also interested in the business model when it comes to the value of a guy like that and the value of a gal like that. Because make no mistake, Vinny, the, the overlords of the movie industry pay very close attention to all the sordid, ugly, filthy details that came out in that trial. And ultimately, they may have just said, especially after Me Too, that man is a liability. You know, Julie, this is a civil case, so unlike most of the trials here on Court TV, everyone's going to testify. Johnny Depp will be testifying. Amber Heard will be testifying. A literal he said, she said. Really will be, Vinny. I mean, this is one. Pop the popcorn and get ready, because this is going to be one of those big trials to watch. Entertaining 
Absolutely. Just as Ashley said, I couldn't have said it better. I mean, filthy, ugly, sordid details revealed in the United Kingdom case. And we're going to hear much of the same because even though we don't have the same defense, defendant there, as you pointed out, you know, we had the newspaper group being sued there. Here we have Amber Heard being sued, but it's all over that same issue, whether Johnny Depp was abusive toward her. So really, we're going to see all that testimony coming out and that burden much, much lower in civil court, much lower than what we're used to, the preponderance of the evidence standards. So when we think of two scales, think of the scales of justice, you know, side by side, we're talking about just slightly tipping the scales. We're going 51% to 49%. That is all you need to convince a judge or a jury to find in your favor. So much lower burden, and uh, certainly all of those ugly details are going to come out unless they decide to settle this one, Vinny. I don't think Johnny Depp is the settling type. <laughs> I think he's going <laughs> forward with this. We've got a trial date, folks. Let's take a look at it. May 3rd, 2021, Johnny Depp's defamation.